When I was a kid, my family used to go to the White Mountains every summer, and we'd hike all day long and go fly fishing too. But I haven't been back much since. So at the very end of this summer, I set aside some time to escape to the mountains with my girlfriend Allie and get lost in that old feeling again. And early signs of fall showed up the whole way through. So on the morning of departure, we started with a great big breakfast before packing. really hit the spot. It's those potatoes, really, that do it, wouldn't you say? So before we head up to New Hampshire, I just want to take a minute to thank this video's sponsor, which is Brooklinen. Brooklinen offers high-quality and comfortable bed sheets at an affordable price by cutting out the middleman. They're founded on the philosophy that people deserve simple and beautiful home essentials without a luxury markup. And right now, you can get $20 off any order of $100 or more by using my link below. And I seriously, genuinely recommend these. I've never owned nice sheets in my life, and I was blown away the second I opened these up. The texture right off the bat, so silky and soft, but that rugged, durable material as well. My uh, bed sheets I've had for many, many years. I did some research, looked around. I wanted good sheets because it's about time I step up. You know, you do spend about a third of your life sleeping, so it might as well be on high quality sheets that are comfortable. Brooklinen came up right away. They're tried and true. They've got over 35,000 five-star reviews. The website experience was great. Super clean, really easy to navigate. It's just cool, all the different options to customize your sheets. If you can save about 25% if you do one of the bundles. I went with the Lux bundle and cream. And they were, you know, between 200 and 250 bucks to set them up. Um, but comparable sheets from luxury brands were $400 or more. It's just so much nicer than anything I've ever had. And, you know, I catch it at the right light and I'm like, dang. Making your home beautiful is one of the ultimate forms of self-care. It's something that I really, truly believe in and promote is investing in your spaces. And we slept on them last night, and I gotta say, genuinely impressed. You can feel it the second you lay down. You can feel the thread count and the breathable material. Also, I just love the little details like long side, short side. When you step in your bedroom, you see it, you're proud and you're excited, it looks good. Most importantly, it feels good. So hit the link in the video description below to get $20 off your order of $100 or more. I promise you won't be disappointed. Now without further ado, let's get to New Hampshire. So Prem's store was getting repainted, trees were starting to turn, and I got an inspection sticker on Old Blue before the big trek north. We stopped at a few random spots, including this little gem, in a small New Hampshire town. And these sporadic pull-offs will always be my favorite part of long drives. There's just so many nooks and crannies and unknown and forgotten places in this big, beautiful country. 
it would take many lifetimes to soak it all in. And towards the tail end of our drive, the mountain started peeking over the trees. And when we arrived at the place we were staying, I was blown away. I've stayed at a lot of cabins over the years, but this one was top three. Rustic and original with a big porch and a private swimming hole. A true paradise. Per standard procedure, first thing we did upon arrival was test the swimming area, just so we knew what we were dealing with. And as the sun dipped behind the trees, we had a cider and looked up some local dinner joints in the nearby town as I threw my little bird to the wind to explore our new temporary home. Then it was off to town to load up on good fuel 
as we'd need the energy for the next day of outdoor adventures. And the next morning we woke early to a dreary day, and though the air was chilly and our eyes were sleepy, I knew of one surefire way to spark life into our souls. This is so pretty. Cold water, tried and true morning wake up. <laughs> it looks... <laughs> I grew up on a river very similar to this, with a bedrock plunge pool in front of the house. So being here in the White Mountains with a familiar setup brewed up a lot of nostalgia and happiness. And I could feel it throughout my whole body. And the entire time we were on this getaway, I couldn't stop telling Allie how much I felt at peace. <laughs> That's a frog. <laughs> Planning to do a bunch of little local hikes today and see as much as we could. So Allie made protein pancakes with berries and bacon, and we headed off into the fog with full bellies. And no matter where we turned, we kept running into Jack Frost. A lot of our summer was spent behind the computer, working towards our goals and making the unglamorous back end of our businesses function. So to be out on the trail with the sound of the running water and the birds and nothing else to think about was Nirvana. Halfway through the day, 
after we had a small lunch on the river rocks, the clouds opened up and sunlight illuminated the natural treasures. <laughs> and with this newly found light, we had no choice but to stop back at the cabin before our afternoon hikes, because a swimming hole like this must be put to good use. to an old mine with a pit stop along the way at a store we couldn't resist where I got a cast iron moon and a Buddha statue for my cabin back home. thought we were just hiking to a mine and back and had no idea we'd be climbing a mountain. Whoa! Holy smokes! That is so beautiful. So the top was a real pleasant surprise. My favorite part was this boulder on the way down, which I wasted no time in getting on top of, just like I would have done in my younger years in these mountains. And the mine had a cool story to it. They say it was the richest tin ore ever found. So we ended up hiking about seven hours that day. And when we got back, we took some time to unwind before dinner, where I ran around the cabin admiring all the little details.
so we had a good meal and got to bed early, for the next day was our big hike. The name of the mountain Simon and I had seen on our drive last fall was Mount Shikorua, and today, Allie and I were hiking to the rocky summit. And we couldn't have asked for a more golden day to do so. and mayflies danced around on the porch while we woke up and got packed. And the loaf of sourdough I baked just before the trip got put to good use throughout this day. And so we ate on the porch, said thank you to the cabin and the river, waved goodbye, and headed toward the Matterhorn. Our plan was to eat lunch at the Jim Liberty cabin before our final ascent to the top. While the mountain isn't all that tall, the trail was steep and our legs burned and the views were larger than life. Just before we reached the top, we ran into a man who told us of a swimming hole on a different trail down, so we knew we had to find it. <laughs> and there was that old familiar childhood feeling again reaching the summit, feeling the wind, and soaking it all in. And just off the trail, at the very end, there it was, a little plunge pool, the ultimate ending to a day full of sweat and sunshine. And a 
trip that recharged the soul through and through in the mountains that I'll always return to as long as I live. And remember to hit the link in the video description for $20 off your order of $100 or more at brooklinen.com. This is great. <laughs> but the house is so cool, dude. This is a story land. That's 